I'm Olivia Bailey and if you're seeing me right now you're probably watching EHC TV on Comcast Cable or you might be listening to WEHC 90.7. It might be halftime show of the basketball game. You're seeing or hearing us. We're glad you're tuned in. The guest today is uh, women's basketball head coach Rose Katz. Thank you for being on the set Rose. Thank you for having me. So um, I'm really interested in hearing about how you came to Emory. Um, you've traveled quite the distance to come here. Yeah. So can you kind of explain that? Um, well I was an assistant at Widener University for three years, which is outside in uh, outside Philadelphia, about 15 miles, 20 miles outside Philadelphia. And um, I was recruiting players, and they were being successful, and I was doing some things there, and I thought, well, maybe I'm ready to kind of go out on my own and, and see if I can be a head coach. Um, so I went on the NCAA Marketplace, which is a website that has all kinds of different sports jobs posted from being an athletic director to sports information. Everything's on there in all different states all over the country. So, um, you know, I knew I wanted to be at the Division Three level, um, and I saw that this job had opened. And Emory and Henry actually called me when I was a senior in high school to try and recruit me. And I was like, I don't know, I'm definitely never going anywhere far. So the name stuck out to me, and I was like, oh, I'll just – put my stuff in and kind of see what happens. So that's kind of how the process got moving. And now that you're at Emory, has your perspective changed on being here in the South uh, um, to, opposed to what it was when you were a senior in high school? Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's definitely different, but I guess it's a welcome change. Um, everybody's a lot nicer down here, I'll tell you that. Um, sometimes it's surprising how much people care and how genuinely nice they are. Um, so that's definitely changed a little bit. Um, but I'm just so busy. Like, I just feel like I could be in Philadelphia still, and I wouldn't even know because I just go to school and go home and go to sleep and then come back and do it all again. So it's sometimes I don't notice. And in recruiting players and um, maybe some of the different localities that you recruit players, have you seen differences in the attitudes? And what are the responsibilities in that from being um, helping girls get into programs to maybe recruiting girls at this point? Um, I definitely have a different perspective being that I did coach AAU, so I did help place players, and when they were getting recruited, I was the one that they were going to, and now I'm the one doing the recruiting. Um, I mean, I just look for kids with a positive attitude that do the little things, um, hard workers. Um, you have to kind of shoot high at Division Three, and then have like a high list, and then a middle list, and then like a, we can definitely get these kids list, just so that you have that balance throughout your roster. So awesome! And I, I know on the roster now we have um, a diverse group of girls. Um, uh, 